Hello friends, today we're going to be learning how to set up our science notebook and we're also going to be learning about how to set up our vocabulary and our routine with that. So the first thing you need to do is get glue, scissors, colored pencils, and things like that together in a container so you can have all of that at your disposal. Today you're going to need a ruler and a pencil and your composition notebook. So the first thing you should do is write your name on this and that it is your science notebook. So before we do each unit, you're going to make a cover page and you can decorate it however you want. I have it decorated as the human body. I have these colored pencils and, and crayons that I've been using. So you can decorate it however you want, but it should say human body. Now the reason why you have sticky notes inside of your bag is that what I did is I made little tabs. So each time we start a new unit, you are going to make some little tabs. We don't do it ahead because of the number of pages. We're not quite sure. So the way that I created my tabs is that I got these and I cut them in half and I kept the part with a sticky part and then I cut it in two thirds. Okay. And I wrote human body here and that is what I stuck. That's a little bit smaller, but that's fine. You can cut them in half if you want it a little larger, but the only thing that we need to write is human body or human body systems. So by the time we get to the end of the year, you will be able to locate anything that you want in regards to science and the topic without flipping through every page. So after we do that, you are going to start your vocabulary routine. Now I already have it written out, so I'm going to take a blank notebook and I'm going to show you how to set it up and then I'll use my other notebook to give you the definitions. So with your ruler and your pencil, this is what we would do at the beginning of every unit. I have my ruler. I'm going to draw a line down the middle. What we're doing is we're making boxes for us to write our definition. We are going to write our pronunciation, how to pronounce the word. We are also going to be writing a picture and using it in a sentence to help us apply that definition. So we're going to do two boxes for each word and we're gonna do three boxes down. So we can do three words per page, two boxes per word. So I would go down about eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to draw another line Mine's a little crooked, make sure it lines up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go. Put a number one, a number two, and a number three. And I'm going to put human body vocabulary at the top. Now I look and see how many words that I have for the unit. And for this unit, I have quite a bit. I have 15. So that means I need to make how many pages like this? I need to make six pages like that. So I'm going to continue until I get to 15. Okay, so what we're going to do is I usually take it from the one side and I go across. Okay, so this is one through six. We have four five, and six. I'm going to turn the page. And you can usually see through the page so we can line it up with what we can see through the page. If not, you would go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I can see the lines through the back of the page. So there we go. And I have one more page to do. This will be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
and 12. Remember we had 15, so we're going to do one more page. And I can see through it so I don't have to count. And there we go, 13, 14, 15. Now Mrs. Ray is going to give you the vocabulary words for the unit. You do not have to look up the words. I will give you the definition for each of the words as we get to it in the unit. And then you will write a sentence, you'll write a pronunciation, and you will write a picture. So the first word that we're going to do is organism. So we're gonna write all the words for the entire unit down, but the definitions, once we get to them, we'll talk about. So we have organism, organ, organ system. Brain, skin, and bones. Now pause it right here if you need extra time. Muscles. Exoskeleton. Lungs, heart, stomach, liver. Pause it if you would need some extra time to write them down. And the last three are pancreas, kidneys, and your bladder. All right, so let's go back. Once you have everything written down, like I said, you can pause it when you need to or rewind when you need some extra time. So we are going to do lesson one. Lesson one is titled, what are organs and body systems? Our words that we'll be talking about in this lesson are organism, organ, organ system, brain, and skin. So in other words, we're going to be talking about the first five words. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what you're going to be expected to do on, on the first couple. And then I will give you just the definition from that point forward and you will have to finish the words. So the first word is organism. An organism is a living thing, any living thing. So what you would need to do is a definition I will always give you. You will need to do a pronunciation. Like how does it sound to you? Or gan -ism. That is not how it's spelled. That is how it sounds. And you can write different ones depending on however you think it sounds or um, using other letters to make it sound like organism. Then I'm going to have you write a sentence and a picture. So I want to say my cat is an organism because my cat is a living thing. And then I can draw a picture of my kitty. All right, so you guys can copy that down so you have an example. The next one is an organ. An organ is a body part that is made up of smaller parts that work together to do a certain job.
We're gonna learn all about the different organs and the different parts of each organ, how they work together, and how they do the job that they're meant to do. that work together to do a certain job. Okay, so remember you're going to do the pronunciation, it's sentence and the picture. Okay, here's the next one. Organ system is a group of organs that work together to do one job. There's many major organ systems that we'll be discussing this unit. A group of organs that work together to do a certain job. So we have organism, organ, and organ system. All right, the next definition is your brain. Your brain is that organ inside of your head. It processes all the information that comes in all of the different areas in your body. So it's an organ that processes information. last one for this lesson is skin. Skin is a protective layer to protect your organs from germs. So in other words, your skin prevents all that yucky stuff that goes around in the earth and in the atmosphere and all around you like germs and dirt and things like that to get inside your organs and hurt them. So the skin prevents that from all happening. Okay, so that's the vocabulary for unit nine, lesson one. So now you need to go and finish writing the definitions down. You can pause the video right now. It'll have all the definitions on and then you can write them down. You're going to need the pronunciation, how you say it. You're going to use it in a sentence and you're going to draw a picture of it.